age. At the meeting I was struck by the strength of feeling from parents and carers of those children who attend this school, but miss the mayor not only did they speak with staring passion about the school which does so much to improve the quality of life of their children, but also miss the mayor they forensically dismantled the arguments for closure piece by piece. They did this with evidence and plain old common sense, and they unveiled the vote case for closure to be the true body it is. The decimation of this false logic, which is behind the cabinet self-styled their adoption, is detailed yet further in the parents' written response to the consultation, which hopefully all members have received. I know some received on Friday, some would have received today in the post. I, I know some members are saying they haven't, I'm sure they'll be finished with that. Can I for later uh, Yes, just in the council later. I, for one, and I've spoken to a couple of other members, I've received this tonight from my teacher pal, generally have, uh, and I don't believe we are expected to have read this before prior to this debate. But I think all members will either have received it by email, or it could be in the thing that you will stitch it in. But it is not, if I haven't read it tonight, yes, it's not in the whole debate. Absolutely, Mr. Mayor. I make that point no less than that. I did organise the distribution of that document, but no doubt everyone will be able to have a copy in due course. Mr. Mayor, attending the consultation meeting, I also <coughs> have to have a rather strange feeling of deja vu. This may have been, Mr. Mayor, because I have obviously attended similar consultation meetings before, as other councillors will have. Indeed, I chaired a couple of consultation meetings on the closure of Kingsway School. In Wallasey, and at those meetings, a similar rationale was presented by council officers when recommending the closure of the school. They mentioned falling numbers, resulting in budgetary pressures, etc. With Kingsway School, thankfully, the cabinet falls again. That school remains open today and is thriving, with its most recent Ofsted inspection recording the school as being outstanding. An achievement which I'm sure those of us who are governors will recognise is even more remarkable to get today given the new and more robust Ofsted inspection framework. It seems to me, Mr. Mayor, that the flawed recommendation for the closure of Kingsway School is repeated here with the Lindale School, with the authority being preoccupied with the potential to save money through economies of scale rather than acknowledging the huge positives that a smaller school provides especially, Mr. Mayor, a small school which has been effectively custom-made to cater for children with the most complex needs. It speaks, Mr. Mayor, to a point often raised in this council chamber and indeed more widely about this council. That is, it seems to know the cost of everything but the value of nothing. Let me, Mr. Mayor, just touch upon the point of value. That is, the impactful <coughs> value that the service this school provides to some of the most vulnerable families in our community. I myself have recently visited the school and have seen the uniqueness of the learning environment which has been painstakingly created for children with most profound learning and physical disabilities. Children with complex health problems which often require treatments on site. This is not just a building of snow which can be easily replicated elsewhere. It is a school which is an asset to our borough's education system a school which provides peace of mind to the families who call upon it for support. Surely an asset which should be a source of pride for this council, not one which we should seek to dispense of. Despite falling numbers being highlighted by those who look to close the school, I will point to the fact that local authorities who have made decisions to rush the closures of schools up and down the country have now come to regret those decisions and are faced with the unprecedented crisis previously unheard of where school places are limited for their young people. Surely we must as a council realise that their rate is no science. It cannot be predicted adequately by any mathematical formula. And indeed, even more so in this case, we cannot predict how many children will be born needing the acute support and assistance required by the children of the Lindale School. Surely we should have spare capacity in this type of school and this area, and we should not seek to scale back the provision for children of similar needs to those who are schooled at Lindale. Mr. Mayor, I would like to just take a couple of moments to look at the consultation process itself. At a pre
previous call in members did ask that the consultation be as full, open, and frank as honest uh, as possible. They asked for it to be honest and meaningful. And I think there was a genuine desire across all parties that that should be the case. You noted yourself, Mr. Mayor, that you chaired that particular meeting. However, despite the strong feelings that closure should not be considered at all, this, this was agreed by the committee at a vote. But what have we seen during this consultation process? Well, I, I made two observations, Mr. Mayor. Firstly, we have seen a departure from previous practice insofar as not an elected member chaired the consultation meeting themselves, but an officer. I was told that the cabinet member and officers felt that Councillor Tony Smith, the cabinet member, couldn't chair the meeting and listen to the points raised by parents at the same time. Whilst Mr Mayor, the officer chosen to chair the consultation meetings was invariably described as rude and dismissive by those who attended. Now that's a point of style, I, I understand that, but nonetheless it was the case that the majority of those who <coughs> attended felt that was the case. Also, there's the fact that these were, after all, officers' recommendations to the cabinet. It cannot be said that the officer was neutral. But more importantly, Mr Mayor, we also see that questions posed to the council by parents as far back as March were not answered by officers until the closing date of the consultation, the 25th of June. And even then, the answers, we are told, were inadequate. I, I couldn't possibly comment because thus far I've been told I can't have access to those questions and those answers. The truth is, this consultation process has been farcical. It is laid bare for all those to see that the basis upon which the Council has built the case for closure is not supported by any careful evidence rationale, but is rather crumbly before our eyes. And I must, obviously, Mr Mayor, point out the irony. The irony, or perhaps sheer audacity, of the fact that the legality of this notice of motion tonight is brought into question whilst a broad consultation is permitted to continue. Surely minds must now be concentrated on getting the decision right rather than cycling the opportunity for further debate and scrutiny of the options. Mr Mayor, the Lindale School undoubtedly touches hearts. It cares for, nurtures and educates children with some of the most severe and complex disabilities, with some children suffering from life-limiting conditions. And it undertakes this task superbly well, creating a tailor-made environment and meeting the requirements.